Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news. Not much on the calendar for earnings this morning, but we will see which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. To celebrate Valentine's Day, TipRanks is giving 30% off premium and ultimate subscriptions until Wednesday. So if you've been thinking of upgrading to unlock some fantastic research tools, now is the time to do it. Make sure you head on over to tipranks.com or use the link in the description down below below. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning. Currently, Dow futures are up 1.25%, S&P 500 futures up 1.62%, and Nasdaq futures up 2.2%. Global chip giant Intel is in advanced talks about taking over Israel's Tower Semiconductor for about $6 billion. Tower Semiconductors is a leading foundry of high-value analog semiconductor solutions. Its chips are used in an array of technologies, from cars to consumer products to medical and industrial equipment. The company has seven manufacturing plants across the globe. Intel's interest in buying the chipmaker stands at $6 billion, representing a huge premium to their market cap of $3.65 billion on Monday. The stock is currently up over 48% following the news. In further Intel news, their automotive unit, Mobileye, plans to launch self-driving electric shuttles in the U.S. by 2024. The project aims to address urban transport challenges such as road safety, road congestion, and mobility access, and is aimed at first and last mile use cases. In the first year of deployment, a couple hundred vehicles are expected to be released to the market, with the goal of reaching between 10 and 15,000 globally. The Intel stock is currently rated a hold with an average upside just shy of 16%. Advanced Micro Devices has completed the acquisition of Zillinx in an all-stock transaction worth $50 billion, which is a record for the chip industry. Zillinx joins AMD with an extensive product line, customers, and talent to create the industry's high-performance and adaptive computing leader. The acquisition should enhance the company's footprint in key markets like data centers, where Zillinx is a big player, as well as in 5G communications, industrial, and defense markets. Following the acquisitions, Zillinx CEO will become the president of the newly formed Adaptive and Embedded Computing Group. The AMD stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 37%. Collegium Pharmaceutical has inked a deal to acquire Biodelivery Sciences International for $604 million. Biodelivery Sciences International is a rapidly growing specialty pharmaceutical company with a portfolio of pain and neurology products and therapies for serious and debilitating chronic conditions. The deal is in line with Collegium's mission to build a leading diversified specialty pharmaceutical company benefiting patients suffering from serious medical conditions. Analysts rate the Collegium Pharmaceutical stock a strong buy with an average upside of 44%. Paysafe has announced its entry into the mobile sports betting markets of Louisiana and Oregon. With a potential market opportunity of $5.1 billion in retail sports betting in Louisiana, Paysafe has enhanced its long-term partnership with Caesars Entertainment and DraftKings, along with newer partner WinBet. The partners can now support player deposits by credit or debit card through integration with Paysafe's payment gateway. In Oregon, the company has partnered with DraftKings, the official sportsbook provider of the Oregon Lottery. The PaySafe stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 96%. FinTech company Intuit has reiterated their revenue outlook for fiscal 2022, but did lower expectations for their second quarter due to a slower forming tax season. For the second quarter ended January 31st, the company is expecting revenue to range from 2.66 to 2.665 billion, lower than the earlier guidance range of 2.71 to 2.75 billion. The street's revenue estimate for the second quarter stands at 2.74 billion. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 40%. 
and GoDaddy has signed an accelerated share repurchase agreement to buy back common shares of $750 million. The agreements are expected to be settled in the second quarter of this year. They form part of the company's multi-year $3 billion share repurchase plan announced along with the release of their fourth quarter results earlier this month. The GoDaddy stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 30%. As I mentioned already, there's not a lot happening in the pre-market for earnings reports, but in the after hours, we'll be hearing from some big names like Upstart, Roblox, Airbnb, and Viacom. And tomorrow we'll be hearing from big names like Shopify, Nvidia, Cisco, and DoorDash. So let's move right on and see what stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Tower Semiconductor following the news of the potential merger with Intel. Trading under the ticker TSEM, the stock is now up about 42.5%. They're followed by Virgin Galactic Holdings under the ticker SPCE, the stock is up over 12% after they announced they'd be offering spaceflight reservations for $450,000 and Immunity Bio under the ticker IBRX. The stock is up 11.5% following positive updates from some trials. Our biggest losers this morning are led by the Cabot stock. They're cooling off after some big gains last week following an earnings report. Trading under the ticker CBT, the stock is currently down 8.33%. They're followed by Harmony Gold Mining under the ticker HMY, the stock is down 7% on no distinct news. And the Graphic Packaging stock under the ticker GPK, they're currently down 6.4% ahead of their earnings report on Thursday. So that is going to be everything for Tuesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.